Hello and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to configure a VPN connection using a Windows 10 uh, machine and a Windows Server 2012 R2 server. Let's assume the server is in the office and your uh, Windows 10 machine is at home. Connection, as you know, uh, it will be uh, an encrypted connection once you're connected to a VPN. Um, there's a few steps in this configuration, um, as you can see uh, here in the illustration. The first step is uh, to prepare the office server for the connection, in which uh, the uh, Windows uh, remote access role will need to be uh, installed. After the server role is installed, the VPN will service will need to be uh, configured. Uh, Users uh, will also be allowed. In this case, I will uh, provide an example of one user uh, accessing Active Directory's users on computer and giving this particular user access to use VPN and also allow the VPN connection port through your office router. Because if you don't do this, uh, you may have issue connecting to VPN. Some routers out there allow VPN. Uh, you don't need to do anything. Uh, it's called VPN pass-through. Uh, but uh, in this particular case, I will show you in a router in the event that you uh, cannot connect. I'll show you how to configure that port. Second step will be to prepare your home computer for the VPN connection. Uh, we're going to create the, uh, the connection, the VPN connection, and we're going to configure uh, uh, the VPN because uh, there's some little tweaks that needs to be done for you to see the files. And final step will be the tests, uh, testing the VPN connection. Okay, so without further ado, uh, I'm just gonna jump into number one, prepare the office server for the connection. Hello, and welcome to step number one of the um, office server configuration. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm connected to uh, Windows Server uh, 2012 R2. And if you wonder why this is, uh, this looks like a Windows uh, 7 uh, PC, the uh, I'm, I'm referring to the uh, uh, to the start button. Uh, it's because I install a little a little uh, utility here, so the menus are more accessible and easy to use. Okay, for this presentation. First stop is to go into Windows Server Manager. Uh, you can access it through here, or you can also. Um, uh, click on manage and add service role. So number two here, add server role, and then click next. Uh, select the first option, then next. This is a server which uh, I'm going to install this, uh, this role. So next, and here select the uh, remote access role. Uh, wait a few seconds, it's gonna click next. And then uh, here, just click next, leave everything as default, click next. And here select the, the first one, the RAS server, click next. Um, and then uh, that's it, install. And wait for the, uh, for the, for the role to, to install. I'm just gonna pause the video for now. And once it is installed, I'll come back, uh, I'll come back to you. Okay, as you can see here, it says that the configuration required, installations are seated on the server uh, that I am installing it in. So I'm just gonna close it for now. As you can see, I have a little notification here on the notification area. I'm going to click on it and uh, open the getting started wizard. So I'm going to uh, go to the sub step to configure the VPN server role. Uh, out of these three options, select deploy VPN only. And as you can see here, uh, there's a little dot here. It means that the server is not configured, uh, it's stopped and it's unconfigured at this point, okay? So I'm going to right click and then configure and enable um, the uh, remote uh, access server. Click on next. And from this option here, select the last one, custom configuration, click next. And here select the first one, VPN access. Click next, VPN access, everything is fine. Click finish. What it's telling you is that uh, this uh, service is uh, is uh, um, it's enabled because right now the server is down. Once I click OK, I click on start uh, on the start the service. This uh, red arrow here is going to go green. As you can see, I'm going to start the VPN server right now. 
and uh, in a few seconds you're gonna see that this little arrow here will turn green uh, indicating there you go indicating that the uh, server is uh, the service is already running I mean it's ready to accept connection however there's a little bit of uh, more tweaking to do so for now I'm going to close the server manager in the back end and uh, I will then right click on the um, on the sorry right click here on the lab which is my server go to property there's a few things from here that I want you to be aware one is the security section which is very important uh, you need to make sure that you allow the window authentication so click on uh, authentication method and select these two guys here encrypted authentication the shop and the Microsoft encrypted authentication version this one here okay so this is good and then Windows accounting leave it as is now in IPv4 okay I will get a dynamic IP uh, from the uh, internal network at the office okay I'm gonna click on apply and it's gonna tell me hey uh, once you click here it's gonna restart the service which is fine it's going to restart the VPN server uh, service at this point so it's doing that let's wait until it finishes and then um, uh, that's about it uh, we have configured the server side okay so right now we're going to uh, allowed um, just going to minimize that and I'm going to go into the uh, um, Active Directory's users on computer I have an icon here and this is the guy who uh, I will allow connection. So look for the user who, that, who, who you will allow uh, to connect from home. So right click and property and dial in, allowed, select, allowed access, apply. And th that's all you have to do from the server side. Okay. Now from the, um, from uh, now we need to configure uh, as a sub step of the server configuration, we need to uh, allow the port in the router. Uh, there's a VPN, uh, there's several routers out there that will allow the VPN without you having to do this. But in this particular case, I'm just gonna show it in the event. Uh, the connection is not allowed and you need to configure the server. I'm sorry, the router. This is the router and if you don't know exactly where to go, always look for uh, help and under port forwarding, that is the name here, port forwarding. That's what you need to look in your server. I already configured it. So what I did is I basically uh, here in this section here, I created a server. I put out a name, which is VPN. I uh, told the, uh, the router, hey, whoever comes through this port, which is the VPN port 1723, allow the connection and send it to my uh, VPN router, which is the 222, all right? So that's what I did. I'm going to apply and I'm going to uh, close this section because that's it. Uh, I don't need to do anything. I'm going to leave this open uh, because uh, in, a, in a second, I will show you here when a user connect and you'll see who is the user that connected via VPN to the router. Okay, just gonna pause the video and then go to step number two, prepare your home PC for the VPN use. Hi, and welcome to uh, step number two, which is uh, the preparation of your home computer, your home PC to access the VPN. First thing we need to do is to uh, create the VPN connection in the home computer. Uh, to do that, just uh, navigate to this little icon here uh, and right click and open network and internet settings. Uh, once you're there, uh, navigate to uh, the left uh, uh, panel here and select VPN and then um, click on the plus sign, add a VPN connection, uh, VPN provider, as I mentioned, it's a window VPN connection name. I'm just going to name it Office uh, VPN, uh, the server address, uh, the server name or address. Now, because I am connected to a local uh, domain, which is uh, only local at the office, um, I will need to enter the IP address of the server. Uh, this will be uh, not the local IP address, but the external IP address, the public IP address. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm just going to use the internal one uh, because I am connected to an internal server. But in your case, in order to find out which is your external IP, just go into the browser and type what is my 
uh, local IPv4 and you will be provided to uh, with the address, okay? So this is the server address. Uh, the VPN will be automatic connection, as you remember, uh, we select that in the server and then the username and the password. Um, I'm just gonna use the lab admin uh, as the username and the password, I'm entering it right now. Okay, and that's about it. I'm just gonna save it. Before I connect, I wanna go back to the ethernet uh, and then uh, change the adapter. I need to create, uh, make some configuration here in the adapter. This is the OpenVPN adapter. Uh, right click and click on properties. And here uh, you have a few things. Uh, go to security and select automatic. And here, uh, optional encryption, all right? And down here, select these two protocols. Uh, the challenge handshake and the Microsoft uh, chat version, uh, MS chat uh, version two. Okay, select these two. And when it comes to the network, uh, okay, it's telling you the uh, the protocol you have selected, include PAP and OCHAP. If one of these is not negotiated, that encryption will not occur. Okay, that's fine. Click on yes. And then um, let's go to the networking portion. And this is very important because uh, because right now I am actually uh, logging in a VPN into a local server in the office. I will, in order for me to see uh, the local folders in that server, I will need to um, click on the property here, uh, the IPv4, sorry, this is the IPv6. Click on the IPv4 version, click on properties, and then advance and then DNS. And this is very important because if you don't do this, you will not be able to see any files. So uh, my domain is test local. Uh, I don't know what yours is, but you can type here, whatever your local domain is named, uh, either internal, local or whatever. Okay, just type it there. And I'm gonna uh, select this option as well. We use this connection as a DNS suffix, okay? Click OK, click OK, and then click OK. That's it. So I'm gonna click here on the little computer again, and I'm going to uh, click on the um, uh, on the uh, little icon for the VP Office VPN connection. I'm going to click on Connect. Um, the first time will usually take a little bit of time because it's actually uh, going through the path. As you can see, it's already connected and it's good to go. All right, so let's uh, see now if I can see the file sitting on that server. So if I click here and then I just type here, this is the name of the server uh, on that location. And this is the name of the folder that I share on that location. So it's right there, okay. So these are the folders, right? That I um, that I shared on that on that server on the on the on the office server, and I have access to the folders. Okay. Now, if you connect disconnect to the uh, from the uh, VPN, uh, you will immediately uh, won't be able to see it. So what I normally do is um, I I go into the um, those folders, okay, and then I I I map a network drive. I go here and then on the view here, sorry, uh, map a network drive. And then you can pr provide any any letter you want. And then um, it will connect the sign in and connect the same, uh, use a different connection. Uh, and the reason you, sele you should select this is because the credential here uh, on this computer, which is your home computer, will be different. So uh, when I click here, I'm just gonna tell them, oh, when I connect, uh, I want to use the uh, lab admin user and the password uh, will be my password. Okay, and then remember my credential, click okay. And that's it, it will actually uh, um, configure it uh, I'm not going to waste time on this, but uh, it's, usually, it's usually successful the first time. Um, because this is a, a, a virtual machine, sometimes it gets me a little bit of trouble. Uh, but that's about it. That's that's all you need to know. Uh, remember, uh, it's important that you follow these steps. And if you have any issue, please let me know. Uh, and with this, I think we conclude the final step, which is the uh, test the VPN connection. Everything went well. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please uh, click on the uh, like button and subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you and have yourself a great day.